Okay, now I'm on to what should be the final tutorial. The first thing you need to do, since we're going to be editing this select definition file, is open your system definition file and go down to the select character definition section. Now you're, you're going to want at, to look at the rows and columns. And you're also going to need an image of how you wanted your select screen to look. Okay, so this is how the select panel is supposed to look. And there were 14 columns and 11 rows. And now you go to your select definition file, which is outside of your data one folder. It's in your, I mean, it's outside of the Mugen one folder. It's in your data folder. You want to open it with um, Notepad, and what you're going to see, your you when you open your select definition file, you should see. Uh, something that doesn't look anything like this. Um, you won't see this. You'll see something else. Let me show you. Okay, this is what a new Mugen definition file will look like. I mean, select definition file will look like. You only have two characters. Now ignore the extra stages and options. I'm going to assume since you've added characters to Megan before you know about this section. The only thing you're going to focus on is this section right here. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy and paste this, these two names as many times as you have, as you have, um, I think as many times as you have rows. I've already added this uh, select definition file from a previous screen pack. And so what's going on here is I have a comment for the first row. And since um, I have 11 rows, I need 11 characters. Now, what you're going to do to create the uh, effect that I have here is that for the very first row, which would be right here, there only needs to be two characters. So, what I would do is I would erase these for the first row. And what you, what you do to create a blank row is you go blank, stage, blank, definition, and you might want to add some sort of comment right here so people do not add characters in this space. This is um, the reason why I told you that you need to have move over empty boxes equaling zero and show empty boxes equaling zero. So let me show you what Mugen looks like um, currently. As you can see, currently it's a mess. So to fix that, go to your select definition file and I'll erase everything except for the first two lines. Okay, so I'm going to add these characters down here. And if you notice, I have um, Kung Fu Man between the areas that were blank. And that is done because you have to have a character in that area to make the box show up. So the second row is... The second row is 13. So... Let me remove these.
copy and paste and I'm going to test this hmm it looks like the first row didn't work oh that's right they all need to be blank yes the first one needs to be two and there are 14 blanks so there needs to be So there's twelve blank but so there's twelve blank spaces and there's two spaces which are for characters. And that should work. Okay, and you can see that there are two spaces like right here. There shouldn't be um one right here, but when I fix this it should look like this in the end so let me do a couple more and I'll get back one blank for row two Zero blanks for row three. For row eight, nine, and ten, the first the fir first lot is blank. Which is down here. This would be the first lot. And for row eleven, four and it's gonna be blank. And six out is going to be blank. Okay, now that if you now that you've done that, save and test it. Testing again. Okay, and it seems like it turned out right. So what's going on is the first two section, the first two slots have a character in it. The other slots are just blank. It has a, a blank character, and some of these slots are going to have Kung Fu Man in them because um, basically what you do you do is you just fill in the areas and you characters will conflict man and then you fill in the blank slots with blank character blank stage now I I was wrong when I said that you could not get spacing like this what you do here is you just lie to Mugen about the width of the sprite, the background sprite. So what I did is just that I went to um, the cell size 
and I said that the width was, I think this is the width, no this was the width, I said that the width was um, 48 even though originally I think it was 24 so that actually forced um, Yugen to draw the boxes further apart on the y on the x axis from here to here and I left it I think at six or seven pixels so when you combine the two that's how I was able to to get this um, layout um, since this is the last tutorial I might as well um, admit that I'm having a few problems with the screen pack one of the main things I'm have one of the main problems with the screen pack right now is that I'm having some problems with bitmap fonts. For some reason, I have not gotten bitmap fonts to work properly in this screen pack. It could be because there's something something I forgot to do between the this screen pack and the last one. I'm not sure. I think it could have something to do with um, it not being palleted. Um, the second thing is I'm having some problems with portraits. I'm probably going to have to come up with custom portraits for the screen pack and I need to make the template. And also I need to set the positions for uh, all the characters. The last thing is that I'm having some um, layering problems and the background showing up for the intro screen and I'm having a learn problem with the background sprite. I know in the previous screen pack I had the portrait behind the sprite but I'm not sure why. So this is the last tutorial in my Mugen screen pack tutorial series. I probably will release a video with, of what this screen pack looks like when it's complete and I also may release some corrections if I find out that I've made some more mistakes in my previous videos.